Hello. Let us try to understand the importance of hysteresis in comparator. We have taken an operational amplifier in comparator mode here and we will see how important is the hysteresis for this. Before that let us understand, before that let us analyze the circuit here. In this circuit the LM324, one of the comparators of the quad comparator IC LM324, we have taken only one out of that and what we find is uh, the non-inverting and the inverting, this is the inverting terminal. The inverting terminal is given a fixed voltage by giving a fixed voltage by a general dart of 4.7 volt. So this is given at 4.7 volt and uh, this one at the non-inverting pin is given to a supply voltage which of course through a potential divider and uh, as the voltage supply voltage changes this also changes and this also changes. So while as far as the formula is concerned we had discussed before also that while non-inverting is this is the non-inverting this is the inverting let us call it plus and minus for easy understanding. So, so while plus that means this point is more than minus point that means when voltage at point 3 is more than voltage at point 2 the output is equal to 1, 1 meaning supply voltage. Now the supply voltage could be 10 volt, 12 volt, 5 volt whatever it is. So the output will be that. For the time being let us now remove this. Now this is a plain and simple comparator where we have these arrangements and while we try to operate this what we notice that you see this is kept fixed at 4.72 volts. Now this is positive is less than 4.72 volts so output is equal to 0. Now as I go on changing if I go on changing now the moment it crosses more than 4.72 that means even here also it crosses more than 4.7 it becomes 4.73 the output becomes high that means supply voltage which is given to something about 12 volts so the with that there is little drop in the IC and we get about 11 volts because that just with little difference we find this is what is the function of the comparator. So what we have achieved by this or we change the power supply. Now supposing this is at the as, uh, zero voltage. Now we go on changing the power supply. Now from 12.1 we go on changing the power supply voltage gradually we are seeing for 12.5, 12.6. Now see at 12.5 when it goes to 12.6 it crosses and then that is how the output changes. So this is what is happening at a very uh, little voltage change in 12 point in the supply voltage 12.5 or 12.6 from 12.5 we find it is 0 in 12.6 it is 11.6 that means the output voltage is high. This is the plain and simple comparator but when we give a positive feedback what is positive feedback when we give when we restore that resistor which is given from the output to the input which is called a positive feedback. Now see what happens. What we find here now the voltage is 12.1 the supply voltage is 12.1 and we find this is uh, something about 4.41 and as usual this will remain constant around 4.72 or little plus or minus like that but it will remain at the general voltage which is 4.72. Now you see there we had seen just a 0.1 voltage difference the output was changing. Now you see what, what is happening here. Now we have the 12.1 voltage here we go on increasing the voltage 12 12.2, 12.3, 12.4, 12.5, 12.5, 12.6, 7, 8, 9 and 13. At 13 volt that means only when there is a change of 1 volt then the output is going to high. There we had seen with just a 0 0.1 volt the output was changing. In, pound one volt, in, a, in a 0 0.1 volt change the output was changing. Here it is a 1 volt the output is changing. This is because see while this goes to positive that means while this is high this resistor, this 100k resistor with the feed positive feedback resistor virtually comes from here 
that means from this point to positive because this is positive and this is positive so this resistance comes in parallel across this r2 and a part of the variable resistor that is how in our potential divider uh, explanation we had seen that while we put any resistance parallel in the upper limb the voltage goes up and by if we put it in the lower limb the voltage goes down so now see what is happening when we change back to certain voltage we find we go back to now we go to 12.1 see what happened this goes to zero this goes to zero means this point that means this register is now connected between this and this look at this is the ground so this voltage is pulled down to a very substantial extent to 4.41 so naturally it will take a long uh, voltage at the input to change so that you see it takes a long voltage in the input to change back to the output to high now it is only when there is a one volt change here then only the output goes high so this is what we call hysteresis it is very important in uh, voltage stabilizers where we use if we do not use this feedback resistor positive feedback resistor the relay chattering will take place why the relay chattering will take place we have seen that how how the relay chattering is taking place when the voltage is just changing from 12.6 to 12.5 you see the output becomes zero at 12.5 and the output is high at 12.6 just with 0.1 volt so what happens why the relay chatters now supposing the voltage hovers around this voltage around for 12.5 12.6 the moment you load it the voltage falls a little around 0.1 0.2 volts so the output changes again uh, the, uh, once the output is uh, changed and the this voltage again goes up so again it uh, changes so that is how this output goes on chattering in the sense 0 1 0 1 means the ground 1 means supply voltage so it goes on uh, 0 1 0 1 0 1 if this voltage is hovering that means it is settling between 12.5 to 12.6 for any reason when it is very close to that voltage the the effect is happening like that and that is how we require a hysteresis to be provided to avoid this relay chattery it is bit difficult to conceive but what we had seen is the practical way of providing a voltage variation which is within a large range such that the relay chattering is avoided this is what is the effect of this positive feedback this simple resistor it can be anywhere between 100k to 200k 500k depending on the feedback range now here we are getting around 1 volt we can get about even less than that we can get more than that and by changing this value of this resistor we can change the hysteresis voltage which is very important for any stabilizer operation